If you have diabetes, you're not alone. In fact, one in nine people across the U.S. have it, and it's even a higher rate here in New Mexico. But that doesn't mean that you have to eat like a second class citizen because we're not right here with the delicious chocolate dessert to help us eat well with uh, diabetes is chef and food writer Ward Alpert. It's very nice to have you this morning. Well, thank you for being me. here. You're type two diabetic. I'm a type one. So there's some similarities there. It's managed a little bit differently. Absolutely. The two, <laughs> the two types. Uh, but for those that aren't familiar with it, tell me a little bit about uh, some of the restrictions that come along with type two. Basically, what you need to do is be very vigilant of your mm -hmm. carbohydrates. People think it's sugar. It isn't just sugar. Uh, and I think it comes from the historical, oh, he's got the sugar yeah. uh, to describe all of diabetes. Yep. But it's carbohydrates. Uh, my brother came to visit, also a type 2 diabetic. We made a special dessert for him which had no sugar, and he sat there and ate potatoes and rice because he didn't know better. He didn't know. No, because nope, 20 years ago, nobody knew this. Yeah. I learned this you know, on the way, mm -hmm. and it took a long time. I started out eating a can of tuna fish, some... Uh, iceberg lettuce and a piece of lemon, and that was my lunch. And I finished lunch in three seconds flat, mm -hmm. and it was miserable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you don't have to eat like that, right? No, you don't. Diabetic. So tell I me about how you know. got involved as in, in the decadent diabetic. How, how did you get involved in helping people eat well? I learned to do it for myself, mm -hmm. and then would go into the supermarket. When you go into the supermarket and you see somebody going like that, yep. and they're eating carbs, 10 to 1, they have diabetes. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, carbs are and very I just important. start talking to them, and people would ask me, "Well, do you have a recipe for?" It? And yes, I did. And I just individually sent out a recipe, and it got very, very big. And people. now you have a you have a blog, you have a Facebook page. I do. And and you also contributed to p publications yes. online. So what are you making for us today? Show us how we can kind of up our dessert uh, intake, but this, not do it uh, in a scary way, right? For diabetes. No, this is this is actually very yeah. easy. Uh, to do. This is one of my first desserts. When I left the doctor's office mm -hmm. 10 years ago this December, mm -hmm. I asked him if I could have chocolate, and he goes like this. <laughs> uh, this is my answer to okay. can you have chocolate? Chocolate isn't the problem. It really is carbohydrates. Chocolate, as a matter of fact, is fairly low sure. if you use yeah. a dark chocolate. Okay. So what this is is ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese, that's all that's in there? That's all that's in okay. there right now. All right, you blended that up. I did, just to make it easier. Okay. This is a sugar alternative. What and this particular one, I don't, won't even tell you. Okay. Uh, only because it's such a big deal with people. Okay, but there are sugar alternatives. There are, you? yes. Okay. This actually is a great choice to do something like agave okay. syrup because it will dissolve very easily. All righty. So this you can is, pick your own. You can, saying. and you should. You, yeah. You pick the one that you're most comfortable with. Okay. The one you feel safe with. Yes. Unsweetened cocoa powder. Uh-huh. A little bit of love. Um, vanilla. Vanilla, is that extract? Vanilla extract. Great. And a little strong coffee. Really? Chocolate and coffee are a match made in heaven. They bring out yes, the they flavor. <laughs> that is very true. That is very true. Now let's see if I can do this backwards. Okay, so blend that up. Is it, I'm fascinated that the, the ricotta cheese is really all that's the base. That's it, yes. Basically, uh, if you think about a cannoli, yeah. And I don't know if that's a big thing out here in New Mexico. I know what it is. Yeah, we don't know. A cannoli is uh, a deep fried pastry uh -huh. stuffed sure. with a sweetened cheese. Yeah. That's, that's all that is. That's a is. chocolate cannoli. You just get rid of the rice. That's it. Right? It's yeah. over. You just get, get it more blended than I've done now. And what you want to do, you eat with your eyes first. You want to put it in something that looks good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, those are double shot glasses. That's just a, a martini glass, a little bit of chocolate on the top of it, just to give you a, a burst in your mouth. When you're eating, so it's not all just a soft texture. How can people reach you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook mm -hmm. as Ward Alper, the Decadent Diabetic. Uh -huh. uh, my website is the Decadent Diabetic, and that's the only way you can reach me. I have nothing to sell. No store. I don't have. I don't have a store. I don't right. have a cookbook. If you want to find out about how to eat better with your diabetes, go online. I'm there along with several so hundred other thousand people. other people that are doing it. Well, this it. is beautiful, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to enjoy that recipe at home. I know I will. I'm like looking forward to tasting it. Well, There's we're a spoon out of time. for you. Okay. Thank you so much. I, oh, there is a spoon. There Tell is a what, spoon. Real quick. Chris, sure, you take the biggest mind. one. I, oh, my gosh. That's good. Well, of course it is. Of course it is. I would have never doubted that. <laughs>